What's up, YouTube family? I hope everything is good. Everything is good with me. We're gonna have some fun today. This is what we're gonna do. Actually, I just came from the market, and I meant to take you with me, YouTube, but I forgot the camera, so you had to stay here at the house. But I, I went. I just got back, and I went and got a whole lamb. And I got a video up here where I spit roasted a, a whole lamb before. Um, but this one we're gonna put on the smoker right here. Uh, we're gonna put this. I've never done it before. I'm gonna try to kind of butterfly, you know, like uh, break the break the spine and open it up. The chest cavity uh, layer on there. Put some smoke on it for a few hours and see what happens. So stay tuned. It's a Saturday. It's a little overcast. That's cool with me. I don't have a problem with that. I hope you don't. Uh, let's get it on. Alright YouTube, so since I last saw you, I uh, got the fire room, we got the lamb, some pistols going out, um, let's cook these off of here, and get it ready to get it on the grill, now what we're going to do, I got my surgical tools, and I'm going to perform surgery on this lamb, and it's going to be a uh, I'm gonna do like a thoracic surgeon. I'm going into the chest cavity. At least I like to convince myself I am, but this one am. Apparently don't want to go along. Plan. So what we gonna do? One thing you can believe, YouTube, at the end of the day, we gonna win and this land gonna lose. Well, I don't know. Depends on how you think of it. We'll all be winners. We'll enjoy and appreciate the lamb, so she'll be winners too. Oh, you do not do about What are you talking about? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Get your hands off that. Get your hands off that. It's got raw meat on it, son. I bought one of this and I bought it. I bought it for What you doing? I'm, I'm cooking a lamb. You gonna help? Um, yes, Papa. All right. You want more of this? Yeah. I don't want uh, to. No, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Uh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's got raw meat on it, I told you. I bought one of this. Don't touch that. You too. Oh, she's a pretty lamb, by the way. Hey, and by the way, if you don't enjoy something like this, like if you came home from a hard day work and it was like this random lamb sitting on the table, if you don't get excited by that, you lost your damn mind. I just speak for me. I get excited. Now, this this lamb wasn't random since I went out and bought it, but had my wife surprise me and left this lamb sitting here when I got home. <laughs> like if I was, let's say if it was my birthday. And I came home and found a random lamb sitting there, right there, on the table. I'm Potter, to uh, to stop. Alright, so this is what we're going to do, you two. We got it opened up. We're going to go onion. Bring it like an onion. Favorite, subscribe, notifications. So I just figured out we gotta do notifications now. Uh, actually, clicking that little bell just subscribing doesn't get you uh, a notification. Do all the stuff. Please. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, 
Rosemary. Tom. He's a big one. Come on, Alright, come with me, Mr. Photographer. So now what we're gonna do, how's the light? Oh, I'm sorry, let's go back, Mr. Photographer. Videographer, I guess it'll be a videographer. <laughs> I forgot we're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of red chili powder. This isn't particularly spicy kind. I do have some spicy. That's not what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for the flavor, not the spice. Now let's do a let's do a light for you. We got the blender up. Oh wait, get you one of these ninja blenders. I just got this. My blender blew up on me. All right, that's enough. They ain't paying us. <laughs> they ain't doing a commercial for that. But. My blender blew up, uh, maybe two months ago, and I went to get a blender, and I stumbled on this blender. Um, I seen the commercial form. I got it. It's actually like a really, really good blender. Ninja people, like if you're in ninja management, if you're watching this, feel free to send me some money for that plug I just gave you. That's somewhere around two and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna do lemon juice. Mm, that's probably four, four teaspoons or so. Get a lid on here. Okay, so one thing about the Ninja Blender, ladies and gentlemen, it works best if you plug it in. Let's start with that. Take this over here to Miss Lynn, who's been patiently waiting. She ain't got no way to go. And we're just gonna rub that right on top of the seasoning. Inside that cavity. Oh, I was going on with my black shirt. I didn't mention before, and I'm sure I did though. I've never done this before in terms of uh, cooking this type of lamb on a roast, on a smoke lamb. Only do the spit, spit lamb, but I think this is going to be, well, it's going to be fun. I guess I think it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. I think it's going to be good. We'll find out about that part later, but definitely going to be fun. Because I'm the fool that I am, you two. I'll come and cook food and consider it a success. If it doesn't turn out like I want to, just because I had a good time cooking. My family think I'm nuts, but hey, that's me. Alright, that's the magic, baby. We're going to put away the surgical tools. Surgery's over, the patient survived. Well, this patient's not really survived, but we, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying. And <laughs> we're here to get her on the grill. Um, we'll show you when we take her out, get her on the fire. Close it up, get that smoke going. Uh, I think we got a winner so far. Be right back. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, YouTube. There we go, YouTube. There we go. <laughs> you gotta love it, baby. You gotta love it. 
You gotta love it like I do. Hey, we're gonna close these doors up. We're gonna let this smoke do what it do. Uh, I'm gonna come back to you. I had no idea how long this has to go. Uh, I'm gonna try to run around 2.15. Uh, no, not 2.15. 2.25, 2.50. Um, I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna take five hours or so. Uh, but we'll find out together. That's why we in it together, baby. We'll be back. Peace. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I am about. I didn't put. I tell you, I messed up. I didn't. I didn't look at the clock when I put the time. I think it's probably been close to three hours. Something that troubles me. If you look at this thermometer, it's reading 185. That's the temperature inside. 107. That's the temperature of this probe right here. 115 is the bottom of where. What you want to do with uh, a lamb? This is not anywhere. Yeah, 120 is where I, I cook mine to. That says 107, I think it said. This is nowhere near, uh, you know, 13 degrees from being done. So I'm not sure if I, I don't know if that, uh, I'm going to guess what's going on here. Ooh. Is that I didn't have this. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. So let me not do that. I'm going to guess what's going on is I don't have that probe deep enough into the meat. Um, but you look at her. She's coming along. She's definitely not a few degrees from being done. Um, you can see this stuff all looks, this is raw. Um, but she looks good. She looks good. So what I'm going to do, having done this now for two or three hours, we're going to step the temperature up. and see what we can do about roasting this the rest of the way. All right, give me a second, let me fire it up, I'll get back to you. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Take a look, take a look, take a look. It's getting dark out here, so I'm not good, you can see it. Let's spray it down again. I got the same issue I had earlier. Let me see what the temperature says. It says the internal temperature is 120. That's what it says. Uh, I don't know. It don't look like this is a lamb that's done. I can feel it. I don't, it don't, I don't know. We're going to check. We're going to do something. So we're going to get a knife and cut this thing. we get up under here. Like, yeah. See, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't ready. That ain't ready. That ain't ready. I don't care what the temperature says. That, don't, that ain't ready. This, this meat ain't pulling apart. This meat ain't ready. So, I am going to do what I said I was going to do last time. We're going to crank this temperature up uh, and get this lamb right. I mean, most chefs don't play. We're going to get this thing right. I'll be back to you. So, we're going to do we're gonna do it the right way. We're going to crank this temperature. We're going to wet this a lot. You can see it right now. She looks good. Uh, she looks dry on the outside. We're going to wet it real good. Uh, and then we're going to up this temperature to grilling temperature. Uh, roasting temperature, I should say, uh, 350 or so. Put some more fire on the, on the fire box. Get this thing up. It's gonna be right. We gonna mess it up. This a whole lamb. We gonna get this thing right. All right, you two.
So real quick, that's what you got. Take a look real quick. Our battery is almost out, so we don't have a lot of time, YouTube. It came out perfect. Everything we wanted out of it. Oh my God, you look at that juices, you look at that meat. It's tender, it's juicy. Me and my daughter were the only ones to eat uh, lamb that was here at the house tonight. My oldest son eats beef, he's not here. Uh, everybody else in the house doesn't eat beef, so, or this type of meat. So, it was just me and her, so we got a lot left. We we'll chop it up, get it right. But you see it, it's beautiful. Everything worked out just like I thought it would. We turned the temperature up, got it right, boom. That's it, baby. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thumbs up, like, favorite, share, notifications, all that good stuff, baby. You too. I love you. I hope you love me. I'll see you next time.